Greetings! Today I've got some DC to DC converters from eBay to play with. And let's have a look of what those are and what they're made. You can see I've I got three of those, so one is still packaged and I've opened two of those, but why that's that in a moment. First, let's maybe look at the listing on eBay. And here it is, a two amp DC to DC DC boost step up power supply conversion module micro USB 2 to 24 volts to 5 volts to 28 volts. £2.19 plus free postage for three pieces of that. So under a pound per unit. And let's look at the description. So it can be easily installed in a variety of small devices, that's fine. Use micro USB input, USB charger or mobile power through the data line to get 9, 12, 15, 18 or 24 volts. And specification, max output current 2 amp, recommended for use within 1 amp, yes, because at 2 amps everything will desolder itself from it. Uh, and yeah, this module is a boost module, the output voltage is greater than the input voltage. Fantastic, this is what I wanted, so let's have a look whether it per performs. Here it is, connected to the multimeter, uh, multimeter on volts, I've disabled the uh, auto ranging, um, so it's just gonna be on this range here, that should be sufficient, and here I've got a micro USB cable, so let's plug that in and see what happens. And this is what happened when uh, I got them and I plugged them in and I thought, oh, how odd, it's a boost module, but it's set to output voltage the same as uh, input voltage, so it's not boosting very much. So let's maybe tweak the little potentiometer over here and see if we can get any more volts out of it. So with a small screwdriver, let's give it a few turns and see if the voltage is changing. And I kept turning it and turning it and turning it and nothing changes. How odd. And that's when I thought to myself, hmm, maybe it's a dud. Uh, maybe this one is broken one, something bad, cheap or whatever. Doesn't matter. I opened another one and it behaves exactly in the same way. So this piece of junk doesn't work. Then I thought, hold on a minute. It's never happened to me. I've never bought a little electronics module from eBay um, that wouldn't work. Maybe it needs some load on the output in order for it to, I don't know, sort of kick in. Maybe it's just a crappy type of uh, DC to DC converter. So I've attached uh, a resistor on the output just to see whether it will change anything. And yes, well, the voltage dropped a little bit because we were drawing a little bit of current. But as far as the turning the pot, nothing happens at all. So let's go back to eBay for just a moment. Um, by the way, the item number is 221946031889. And this came from seller CSK Win 2015. And. He's got all positive feedback, 99.2% and whatnot. So I'm not. I'm quite sure it's not the seller. It's he's probably got a batch of dud modules. But um, what I'm trying to get at, let's look at the pictures. It looks kind of the same, more or less. It hasn't got the XY016 marking on the back. There's quite a few more vias on on this one on the picture. This one only has two little vias here right by the arrow. The U1 and R2 markings are on different side on the picture on the bottom of the um, ICs and here are at the top. I'm not sure what the chip orientation is at this point but assuming that the one in the on the left side is pin 1 you can see pin 1 and 2 are connected and on the module I have, they are not. And here is the model, module close up. And now looking at it closer, I can see that in the top over here, we've got actually two more vias um, going over to the opposite side. And here are the two vias that are visible from the back. Those probably also are visible. I'm just not being 
are not looking careful enough. But compared to the picture, we've had, oops, sorry for the shaky, um, we've had the top two pins over here on the IC U1 bridged together and connected to the positive. Maybe they've got the layout wrong, maybe it's just a wrong revision. Uh, let's, uh, let's experiment. And that says B6285, no, B, B6286. And looking at the eBay listing, B6285. Eight, six actually. Let's try to solder up those two legs at the top of the chip and see if we can get it to work. So here I'm just going to use a vise to hold it up in the in a fixed position while I try to apply some solder to this tiny thing. There we go, that should do it. So one more time, the same setup. Let's apply power and see if something happens. So power in. Okay, the same thingy. We get 5.13 volts. 5.12. Nope, that didn't do the trick. Let's look further. Okay, and I had to desolder the potentiometer just to see what's happening with the tracks over here and where are they going to see if we can figure out what's happening. So let's redraw the circuit back on a piece of paper. And there is the schematic. I've uh, retraced that from the board. Everything's kind of clearly visible. Okay, and I've gone and desoldered the little SOT6 package. Um, and what I've noticed that actually there is a connection between uh, those two pins where I was placing a little solder blob is just so small that I couldn't see it. But still this thing doesn't work. Okay, and I've resoldered the sad little sot package and I've made a bit of a mess out of it, but it does the job and the uh, potentiometer back in place. But sadly, well, we haven't done anything. I'm surprised it's actually still doing what it was doing, so I haven't broken it anymore that it is broken. But the module does not work. And this is the... This is gonna be the end of it, because I'm not sure where to proceed with that. I think the chips, the modules are simply dud. Whoa! We've got voltage. So have I been going all the way up? All the way up wrong way? Okay, it goes up to 30 volts now. Excellent. So let's see, have I just been silly and I've gone through all of this in order to just to find out that I haven't turned the multi-turn port far enough to see the change. Let's try the other module. Okay, here is the other one. And let's keep turning it clockwise. Oh yes, it actually works, wow! What a relief. So it does actually work and it goes up to 28 volts. Oh, turns out I did myself a little soldering and desoldering practice with little sod package. Uh, but okay, at least we did some reverse engineering. So now it's discovered that this thing actually works. Uh, let's measure its performance and see if, uh, how it behaves under some load. This is the test setup. So um, here on this meter you will see the voltage uh, of that's on the output. Um, this is connected to the uh, constant current load and we've got the, this meter here measuring the current going out of it. So maybe let's set it up to 
I don't know, let's say seven and a half volts. He's getting five volts on the input, maybe like 5.1. Okay, 7.49 and how do I do this not to obscure camera let's start increasing the voltage so we've got a hundred milliamps and the voltage dropped a little bit let's go up 200 milliamps and it's holding 7.44 300 milliamps yeah still there 400 500 Okay, it keeps kind of holding Okay, so this is putting out an amp of current out right now Oh, it's actually maybe let's connect the uh, USB meter on the input of this That's better so we're back at it, um, let's try one more time and see what's happening. So let's go maybe up to half an amp. Okay, we're taking half an amp, uh, or we're outputting half an amp, but it's consuming 950 milliamp, 960, so almost twice as much. So let's see what happens when we go to an amp. Oh, toasty, so that's an amp in and two and a half amps out. I don't want to kill my power meter. So maybe let's turn it all the way up to maximum voltage. 28.8 is maximum what I can get out of it. And at no load, uh, it consumes nothing. But going up a little bit, it increases the current really quickly. So I'm putting out 70 milliamps and it's consuming half an amp. So at 120 milliamps, one amp is going into this. And of course that's to be expected when, when you're stepping up the voltage. It will uh, consume significantly more the power has to come from somewhere and it's basically converting current to voltage and okay we've got two amps going in six hundred milliamps out at twenty eight volts and two point two amps in I don't want to go maybe more than two and a half amps on the input because I've got a feeling I'm gonna toast my little USB meter and the voltage is dropping quite a bit already on the input 4.3 volts so yeah 86 well we've got an amp we've got an amp on the output and it is getting warm and it's the diode that's getting the warmest out of everything. There you go. That's a look at B6286 based step up DC step up boost converters from eBay. They do work actually and they're quite nice. I like them. Really small and capable of putting up some putting out some current so really really nice module simple basic and and they work so I hope you enjoyed this video and the unnecessary reverse engineering or maybe necessary and remember everyone makes mistakes it's always important to learn from them I should have turned the screw all the way up to see if anything happens thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you wish to watch some more random electronics related videos and give me a like if you enjoyed this one for the time being take care